as you've heard, welcome back to Minecraft Legends. In the last episode, we defeated not one, but two bosses, both the leaders of the Horde of the, whatever they were called, I'm already forgetting the names, the Horde of the Hunt and the Horde of the Spore, that's what it was. Uh, but now, the big pig has come out, and with it, they have attacked the Well of Fate. We have to defeat the Great Hog, a massive and terrifying place that threatens to obliterate the overworld. These piglins have claimed this area. So we will have to go in here and try to save the Well of Fate. I don't know if I, I can't teleport to it anymore, so we'll have to get a little bit closer, maybe something like here, and just work our way over. But this is where it's a big fight, right? We need to go around and maybe get some extra units if we could go and get some zombies too that might be where we want to start let's go get some zombies and stuff and then after that we will build up some units we'll just sort of do everything we can do so if I got people following me right now we have 32 units as it currently stands um, so I really don't need too much more um, we'll get out over here and you can tell just everything everywhere we go has that piglin red aura to it it's so scary so I just really want to be able to grab the stuff and hop back into the action as soon as I can because we can spawn in another 30 units, which will get us up to 62. So, if we could just uh, get a good, like, you know, 30 or so zombies, that should be enough. They're here. I think they can tell, you know, there's some tension in the air. It's easier to get zombies more than there is anything else here. So, I just want to be able to grab this stuff. There we go. There might be a few more over this way, but this really should do it for us, especially if we can find some um, more of the warrior villagers. That'd be great, but there we go. That's good. We're gonna go to this village, and we'll build, I think, an outpost a little bit closer so that we can teleport in and out a bit better, but this is gonna be intense for sure. Is there any kind of warriors to get around here? It doesn't seem like it currently, so all we wanna do is just leave through here. I'm going to make a marker maybe just for like right there and see for ourselves. We can craft one of these, so that'll be good. And then along with it, we'll make some spawning stuff around there. I don't want to make it around here because we're just gonna have to go back anyways. I'm trying. Don't you worry. It's exactly what I'm after. So I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but I would. The only thing we're after right now is to defeat this great hog. To uh, of course, just save the day, save the world. This is exactly what we're after right over here. We still have 59 units following us, so it's quite a lot. Want to get a little bit closer, but I haven't seen any piglins around, so I don't want to go too far close to it because that's where the piglins will just start to destroy it. But I think I can get just a little bit closer. Right about here might be a good spot just to get that set up. It's going to start building. We'll get even closer though before we start getting our um, spawners in order. Okay, so here are where the piglins are. So you know what? Yeah, let's do it about here. And we can get quite a lot, quite the army built up. There we go. And it's mostly gonna be, you know, these kind of units. But we can get quite a lot of them, so I just, I really need to focus on that. And then of course, a lot of the cobblestone ones. Might just wanna make the rest of them cobblestone. There we go. Actually, let's get a few more of these guys, since I don't have them yet. There we go. Uh, now. Seems like we have just about everyone here, right? What if I recall? Will that bring any more over? I don't know, hard to tell. Uh, we have 89 units. That's plenty enough for us just to head in. I don't know what we have to do here if these like sort of red towers are something to destroy. But there, this area is quite open as you can see. So we're here in the Fate Lands, trying to save the day. What do we have to do? Oh man, look at this place. This is crazy. Whoa, there's so many buildings. It's like a piglin city. Quite an overwhelming situation. Let's get out here as much as we can. And I might want to also, just for the sake of it, start to craft another one over here just to see if that one might end up getting destroyed. I'm fully expecting it, but in the meantime, what kind of things can we fight and destroy? The big guys in the center, um, any kind of building we can get to and just sort of start chipping it down. It's gonna be an episode full of fighting and fighting and fighting, I think. So if we could just maybe work on some of the smaller stuff first, you know, if that, if that means we need to send like every single unit over like that, then so be it. Um, but we're able to destroy some stuff really quickly, so that's good. And then, and I also, of course, need to work on being a little bit better with some things, like uh, if I could just uh, send like just my melee mobs over or something, that might be a good idea. Oh man, there's so much going on, but we're able to destroy stuff so fast that 
at the least, you know, this is just one way to get through it all. Let's get them over there. Fight away some more of these piglins that are just trying to try to hit us from the side, but with as many units as we got, it is just so simple to just go in and fight them off. Any spawners that we can get rid of is inevitably gonna help us quite a lot. So, there's another spawner gone. A lot of these guys are just going straight up to the next target, which is great, that's exactly what we need them to do. Okay, so this tower should be a pretty easy one to bust. Back over here, any kind of a uh, thing like that that we can get rid of, sounds like a good idea. We haven't lost too many units either, so we can really just work this stuff down as we try to get closer. And you can see him way up there. He's just, just destroying it too. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like the building, the Well of Fate has like a health bar or something that we have to be worried about. But it might seem, you know, a little bit not worth our time to destroy this stuff, but it absolutely is. Um, because it just makes it so that when we do sort of get our army a bit diminished here, we should be able to rush back in a lot faster and a lot sooner. So while that's happening, um, I do think I want to run over here and just continue to add to this. Just make more space to get over for next time a bit easier. Got a lot of units here who are just sort of hanging out all of them basically. So, and that tower is down. So I think now is a great opportunity to destroy this and then go across that bridge. Excellent, excellent. We're doing really good. The firsts are really packing a punch too, as they should. So. What can we do over here? Oh, something's happening. Yeah, he's really wailing on that thing. Oh no. They just threw that well. Our friends might never be able to come back to this world. Oh, thank goodness. You made it. The great hall must be stopped. I'm doing everything I can then. Let's get into this building. We've made a, you know a pretty clear path over here now, so that's good. A lot of them are just trying to break through. Some of them are definitely a bit confused on how to do that, though. But we almost have it broken up. Come on, everybody, if you could. There we go. Excellent, excellent. This is the final challenge. The ultimate pigeon threat must be defeated. Then let's do it. Let's get out this way. Focus on this redstone thing, too, if we can. Oh, man, this is wild. We've already got a good percentage of damage. There's like a couple of points there. We gotta keep that going. So, you guys could just. Get up here like this. I need to destroy this redstone thing or whatever it is, it just pushes them back. It always looks like it has a little redstone explosion. There we go. This, whoa, and we're in this little ring of fire right now. This is scary. Jeez, come on. If we can destroy this tower, it's at least a little bit less to deal with. I just need my immediate area to be sort of a little bit more cleared out, but we are definitely losing units. So while that's all happening, I think this is a great time to retreat a little bit, build up some new stuff, and go back in. So down to 80% now, we're gonna get closer and closer as time goes on. But I can rush back out this way, and I need to, um, geez, they are really trying to get me. Um, thank you, I'm doing everything I can. Keep getting that stuff closer while I am. Um, the closer I build it, you know, the closer we can get this stuff over there. So, let's do this. And there's not any kind of like crazy heights to climb this time, which is really nice. So I can really just focus all in on getting done what we need to get done. Um, sending out a bunch of this stuff so we can get more materials and just keep going. I'm gonna recall what I can. Hopefully this will bring some of the firsts back too. Uh, yes, it did, it brought them all back. So we can get some healers out here too. Come on guys. And of course, they're gonna try to break this stuff straight away, so we really just need to get on it. Get whatever we can, because it's, it's getting damaged down quick, which is sort of to be expected. Get some creepers too, why not? Okay, there we go. Maybe I spawned in too many of the healers because you know they can't really attack at all. Okay, we're going back in then. We have this sort of straight path over. We just walk over this way. Um. You know what, let's, ah, oh, geez, that is crazy. Not what I wanted. I just wanted to do that. So we can just get across this water a bit easier with our friends. I think that works out quite well. And just go in, go, 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 go. Cause he's up here, he's down to 64% now. So we've been doing some good work here. They're all coming in. 
It's so much nicer when there's not like a height that we have to climb or build up to. It's so much nicer. So it's a lot of fighting for now. But we all know what we have to do. Already almost have him down halfway. This is crazy progress, actually. Come on, everyone. I'm fighting off as many piglins as I can find, too. Let's send you guys back in a little bit. Just to make sure that our friends are all healed up. Because we are going to lose units over time like this, of course. But still a lot more we can do. Get all these guys over like this. Focus on that target specifically. We can feel the corruption weakening. We're halfway there. And it's getting closer and closer with every moment. But we definitely need to retreat soon and go back and try to figure out some other things. But uh, if it's working, I'm not gonna complain for sure. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Get these healers in. He's trying to run away from us right now. He doesn't want any business. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> All right, come on. 45% now. This might be a good time to also focus on destroying some more buildings. I don't know though. Like maybe I should just not worry about it. If we can just brute force win this, then maybe that's what we gotta do. So they're quite busy over here. I think we go in like this again. Come on. He's gonna be fighting, so I guess we don't have to worry about that part too much. Um, we just go back down. Are any of our spawners around still? Well, we didn't put any around here, did we? Um, so if we could just do this. And I know that they're gonna put a stop to these soon enough, but in the meantime, we just get in whatever we can, wherever we can. Come on, come on, before this explodes. Ah, okay, good enough, good enough. A lot more offensive units this time if we can manage. Oh, our friends are getting really damaged here. And a few more of these guys. We got it, we got it, okay. So we're calling these guys all together and we're running back in. Let me get ready to throw out some stuff too. Because we usually don't come in from this angle. Okay, whatever. I think we can just run across it and they'll still follow. Here's hoping. Um, a lot of them waiting for us around here. Some of them might get a little caught up, but it's enough. Stay strong. Oh no, some of our friends getting knocked out. Come on. Way up this way. Keep the fight going. There's so many healers. Okay, we got a lot of units here. Keep fighting him. He's down to 22%. And we're in that ring of fire again. He's almost down, we're about to do this. This is crazy, come on. Keep at it, don't let up now. If there's any units at all that are, are not focusing on him, we just need to make them really take him out. He's under 10%. A couple more guys over this way that can be refocused. I'll deal with the other piglins. You guys just keep fighting. Oh man, come on, 4%, this is it. And there we go, I think we got him. Come on, there we go, we did it. The big pig is knocked down. Oh, that was crazy. He isn't looking so good. Oh, here they come. Oh no, one last slam. Well, we threw it into the well. This could be really bad. Oh no. The piglins are getting sucked away. Goodbye. Maybe this is a good thing. Whoa, that did it. Oh, but he's all alone, he didn't get sucked up with them. Wow. So I guess that did the trick. The piglin army is no more. Sealed away back into the nether. And while things are pretty broken up around here and covered in nether stuff, we're all gonna celebrate. Cause at the end we did save the day, didn't we? All right. Quite the adventure, huh? Now everybody can just get along and Celebrate the peaceful world in harmony. Everybody is dancing, it's so cute. Even the little pigs. <laughs> so silly. A 
Oh, will our friends be able to come back? I sure hope so. Oh, here they are. It's foresight. Oh, I get it because they have four eyes. I just pieced that together. It's been the entire game and now I get the joke. Well, there we go. So is that really it? It seems like it. Everything is so beautiful and peaceful and sunny again. <laughs> the big cannonball. Your saved this world and changed it forever. You have shown us all what is possible if we work together. This overworld is now capable of a great many things, thanks to you. And now it will find its own path forward. Aww. Uh oh. Well, they're fixing it. One block at a time. Oh no. The warriors don't seem to be getting along. With nothing to fight, maybe they just don't feel settled. That's very concerning. We're not needed here anymore. And that's a good thing. It is time for a new adventure for us. There are endless worlds out there waiting to be explored. Change blows in the wind, friend. Where will it take you? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. It was great meeting you three. What a crazy adventure it's been. And hopefully we can see them again on another one at some point. Whoa. So pretty. Oh, maybe that's our portal back home. <laughs> Hi. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Back into our own world. Whoa, hey! They all wanna say goodbye. Or are we just gonna join them? I guess we'll stay with these guys in Minecraft Legends. There we go, that was such a fun game. And I think that's gonna wrap it up, right? I guess so. So there we go, that was our adventure through Minecraft Legends, as you can see. There's not really much to do out here in the world anymore. I don't really know if the piglins will continue to attack towns and stuff like that, but I mean, for the most part, it seems like we're all done. If we wanted to, I'm sure we could do random things like, uh, you know, try to clear out more of the netherrack and stuff. But, you know, really, I don't see too much of a reason to do all that. This was a great game. I had a lot of fun exploring it, and it seems like we really got to enjoy this the most of it. Peace for now. <laughs> they can still talk to us if we wanted to. But what I'm a little bit more curious eyes. about now that we've finished that is if we just save and leave. Because as far as I can tell, we've beaten the game. You guys can let me know if there's anything more in the game you think you could want to see me do. Of course, we could always do a new story. We can continue the campaign. We did 23 days into this one. Um, and there's a lot of other things we can do. There's an online versus mode. There's Lost Legends and uh, myths, which I think, yeah, new stories every month. This is like little side story things. So maybe we'll do a few episodes focused on this or something. And then of course there's the marketplace over here where you can purchase um, different cosmetics and things. Um, there's only a few of them. I don't know if these are too worth it to showcase, but Lost Legends, yeah, there's the portal pile. So maybe we'll do this one soon. There's some myths, but there's none here yet. Interesting. So definitely those are things we can check out. And maybe there'll be a sequel or a different campaign at some point if there's warrior villagers, maybe they will become villagers and that will be its own war or something. I feel like that's what they were hitting at, hinting at at the end there. So we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.